hello everyone and welcome into my latest video about the best foundations found at the drugstore and i say my latest because i don't know i think it was probably about nine months or so ago i also did one of these now i do want you to know before we get started that i still stand by all of the picks that i had in that video however you guys told me about some i found some extra foundations at the drugstore that, that I, I wanted to share so badly and I think that they are just standout products. So I do kind of have a shifted order going on here, but I do still love those other foundations and I wanted to make sure I told you guys that. So if you're new to my channel, a special welcome to you. I hope that you do decide to subscribe and hit the bell icon. And everyone that is here, thank you so much for spending a part of your day with me. I do really appreciate that. Please take a second to hit the thumbs up button. It helps my video out so much. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you do have a favorite drugstore foundation foundation or a foundation that is high end or luxury. I love to hear those too. The things that work for you, I love to hear about and see if they might work for me as well. So let's get into this because I have a lot to say about some really great foundations, you guys. Starting with number 10. And I know the biggest complaint about this particular foundation was its scent. And as soon as I say that, you guys are gonna go, oh, yep, wet and wild photo focus foundation in the matte version. Yes, it does have a, a scent almost like a paint smell. Not too bad. I Some people this has bothered a lot more than others. I only notice it very slightly. I don't know if that means my sniffer is burned out a little bit or what, but I'm usually pretty good about this. But I'll tell you what, you guys, this is the new dewy one. When I combined the two of these, it is the perfect foundation for me. It's the perfect mix between satin and matte, long wearing, still dewy enough for my dry skin, and it just looks beautiful. Now I will say that this is more along the lines of a medium to buildable coverage because when I put it on, I can still see some of my redness through, but I can just wait a second and go back and put a second coat of that, you know, just on where I have dark spots or redness and it really does take care of that. And like I said, it is very long wearing throughout the day. I don't notice a lot of breakup, especially if it's warm, just powder a little bit. And if you're someone that is worried about the warmth in the summer, and that's where we're at right now, then you might wanna just go straight on with the version that is the matte. And if you're somebody that is very, very dry and you live in an extremely arid climate where you don't get a lot of humidity at all, then go for the dewy because either formula is really beautiful in its own right. I just find that the two together is something absolutely spectacular. So that is my number 10. At number nine is from number seven. And you guys, I have tried every single solitary foundation product that number seven has out there. And you're gonna see a lot of number seven in this because I think their foundations are next level. I am just like, where have I been? Why have I missed the boat? But this one is the Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Hydrating, Age-Defying, Medium Coverage, Sunscreen, SPF of 50 Foundation. And I think this is such a good foundation. This is a straight-on dupe for the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, which everybody absolutely loves, me included, but I actually think I like this one better. Again, this is a medium buildable coverage. I would say that it still leans towards medium, but on the days when I'm just going for a very natural look, I don't really care about having full coverage or very super perfected skin. This is gonna do the job for me, and I love this stuff, you guys. I love that it has the SPF in there. I love the way that it spreads across my skin. I love that it has skin-loving ingredients in here. I actually love everything about it. It just really has been a replacement for that CC cream from IT that I can trust, that I reach for more than that one. Better price point, better product in my opinion, and I do think they have a better shade range in my opinion. But I was so glad to see this when this came out, and I absolutely love it. So if you haven't tried that one and you like the IT one, maybe give it a try. All right, in at number eight is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I now, really had a hard time kind of ranking all of these, you guys. What I look for in foundation is something that's going to treat my mature skin well, have really good coverage, and not look like cake face and not break apart at the end of the day. And all of these really do that. They're really good at that. But the Superstay one, I chose to put in this slot not because I don't like its finish because it's got a beautiful finish on it. It is absolutely blurring and perfecting and hides everything in one coat. 
you know, and you can put a thin coat on without having to go in with another coat and you're going to get that coverage. Also, the long wearing part about it, who's going to wear their foundation for 24 hours, but it makes that claim. I do believe that it will last you 14, 15 hours. It's that good of a foundation. I picked this specifically because in summertime, this is my best friend. Honestly, on those months when it does get super humid, I put this on because it's not going to break through. I'm not going to get any shine. It is absolutely gorgeous on the skin and helps so well. So if you're an oily skin gal, this might be your everyday new foundation. It is just that pretty and that perfect for me. And I'm a very dry skin gal normally, but now that I'm having hot flashes, it's my new best friend. So I really do love it, and I think you guys will love it too. And then in it, number seven is number seven. <laughs> this one is the Airbrush Away Foundation. This is a this very serum-like foundation. It does come with a dropper system, which I'm not crazy about. It does kind of get goopy and nasty along the lid right there. But I put up with it because I love the product inside of here. The product is every bit as beautiful as all of these other number seven ones, but this gives like a medium full coverage. So it's in between there. And the other thing that is really beautiful about it is it's very, very thin. So you're going to get that very thin layer that doesn't show up texture, but it has the coverage that you need. And it also has the lasting power. And its name, Airbrush Away, it really truly does leave your skin looking that perfected. So this is another one from number seven that I would say go for. And then in at number six is the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. I think this one just beats that other one out just a little bit because it is just a tiny bit thinner than that one, but both of them are equally as good. And I think that the NYX gives you full coverage, whereas the other one kind of gives you medium to full coverage. So both of these, I wanted to say, are fantastic summer products because they do give that very light feel on the skin. You don't have to use very much to get your skin covered and perfected. Very airbrushed look on this one as well. I love that this one is totally matte. And then if I want to go in with my glowy products on top of that, I can do that. I do like a dewy finished foundation. Yes, I do like a natural finished foundation, but there's sometimes when I love having just a matte foundation and this one is really good for that as well. So summer months, NYX Total Control Drops, really good, doesn't break apart again. Actually, none of these break apart, you guys. They are so good. All of these foundations are fantastic. So several of these foundations were in my other video where I did talk about 10 other drugstore foundations. So we're kind of overlapping a little bit. I'm going to link that so you guys can see. But Koki was one of them that was in there. So this is my number five foundation, and this is their full coverage foundation. And I love this, you guys. Their other foundation that they had was a little bit too drying for me. This one is perfect for me. This one gives such good coverage. I originally heard about this about the same time that Taylor Wynn went and put her video up because I was one of the ones that was fortunate enough to be able to walk into a Rite Aid and pick it up. So I was really excited when I saw her video go out that she was liking it as much as I was. And it is really good, you guys. Again, we're talking about a formula a that doesn't give texture to mature skin. It's going to last all day. It's going to Give you the coverage that you need but at the same time it's going to be one that doesn't dry my skin out and it doesn't look flat it's kind of along the lines between a matte and a satin and i just love it i think it's one of those ones that is beautiful high-end product not a high-end price i love that it has a glass jar i love that it's packaging it has the gold you know packaging or the gold trim all around it it is a pump i think it's great that lid stays on nice and tight that's one of my pet peeves so yes that is one that i really love now, now in at number four is the revlon color stay again this is a glass bottle i don't like for some reason this pump really makes a mess in the lid, but it does have a nice tight lid, which I do like as well. This is the Revlon Color Stay 24 hour normal to dry skin foundation. And it is a full coverage foundation and I love that about it as well. And this is another one that one of you uh, friends told me about and I thank you so much for talking about it. So many of you talked about it on that video and I picked it up and sure enough, fell in love with it for my dry skin. Now again, they do have one that is for um, normal to oily skin. So if you have that combination skin, you have that oily skin, you might wanna pick that one up instead of this one. This one again looks like a very satin finish, but on my skin, holy moly, you guys, it's so perfecting and so lovely. 
beautiful color for me as well you guys know that i lean neutral to cool and it is a beautiful beautiful color on me and i loved that it was full coverage as well so this one can be put on a very thin layer and still get the really good coverage too and wow revlon color stay i wish that i had known about that for years now this one is one that you guys if you have a dollar general general around you you have to pick this up and try it i don't care if you have oily skin dry skin combo skin whatever this is from believe beauty this foundation is only five dollars and i would just love to know how in the world they can charge five dollars for not just the fact that it's wonderful foundation inside glass bottle pump dispenser with the gold geometric design on the lid you guys this is luxury foundation at a dirt cheap price five dollars for this and you guys it is so beautiful you guys i know that you won't be disappointed in this it is one of those foundations that on mature skin young skin it doesn't matter what skin concern you have this is going to play really well on your skin and that's why it's number three for me because it is just gorgeous on the skin these top ones that i'm talking about you know what i'm not even going to say that normally i say you know my number one is my number one but honestly you guys i can say that my top five no, I'm going to say all 10. I rotate through these so much and reach for every one of them so much for different moods that I feel like, you know, I want lighter weight on this day or I want full coverage on this day. I want matte. I want satin. I want, you know, very fresh, dewy look. There's different things that, that they all do differently. But this one right here, you guys, satin finish, full coverage. It's going to be on all day long plays well with mature skin my dry skin is beautiful in it i've heard people that say they have oily skin it's beautiful on them no breakthrough no drying out of your skin all day if you do have that dry skin i adore this foundation i think it's I, one that could stand up next to lancome estee lauder all the way and it's just that beautiful so definitely give that one a try you guys now the number two and the number one honestly I really couldn't decide. I put the number two on this side of my face because I wanted you to see how close they are. This is all across my face over here. And this is the number seven Lift and Luminate Triple Action Serum Foundation with an SPF. I think it, it says a 15 in it. It's a serum foundation that means that it has really good skin loving ingredients in it, which it does. And it perfects, it lifts, it illuminates. It's a little bit dewy without being over the top, you know, looking too glowy like you're a grease ball or anything. Of course, this is my highlight that I have on you guys. But honestly, you guys, this is the most perfecting foundation from the number seven line. I love this stuff. I reach for it constantly, constantly. And that is why it is in that the number two, because I could not decide whether this side looked better or whether this side looked better, because honestly, to me, they're absolutely beautiful. The only difference between the number one product, which is still the Soap and Glory Kick Butt Foundation, and this is all day long. Where the similarities are they cover so beautifully. They last all day long. They just perfect my skin. There's no breakthrough. It just looks like my skin is just me but better on both of them. But their differences are is the Lift and Luminate does have those skin loving ingredients in it and it does have a little bit more of the luminous finish to it. Whereas the Kick Butt Foundation from Soap and Gloria, Glory, Gloria, whoa, that one slipped out. Anyway, that one just has a very kind of matte, almost a natural finish to it without having a satin kind of luminous look to it. But still, they actually look very similar to each other. So I know that if I'm going to go out and the day is really hot and it's going to be a really challenging day as far as my makeup goes, this one is going to last a little bit longer than the Lift and Luminate. But I'm telling you, I've got that backwards. I'm telling you throughout the day, I have no problems wearing either one of these. And when I take this makeup off tonight, it's going to still be there. Either one of these, you guys, the Soap and Glory was my number one. It still is my number one, especially if you're an oily skin gal, you're going to absolutely love this. If you have combo skin, you're going to love it. My dry skin loves it. I would say it's an all around good one. So if you have oily skin, you might not like this lift and illuminate as much as I do, but for mature skin, and dry skin and combo skin i just i think it's beautiful so i really couldn't choose between either one of those but i wanted to make sure that i kind of 
rank them a little bit. Anyway, you guys, that is it for all of the foundations from the drugstore that at the moment are my absolute favorites. And yeah. like I said at the beginning of the video, if there is a foundation that you are in love with, please let me know that in the comment section because I do always like to hear your feedback. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. It does help a lot. Thanks so much for tuning in with me today. And if you got this far in my video, I thank you even more. I appreciate you staying till the end because that helps my video too. Have a great week or weekend wherever this video may hit you in your timeline. And thanks again for spending a little bit of your day with me. Please stay safe, stay hydrated, stay sanitized, and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Love you. Bye-bye.